Today I have a little tutorial for you on how to work on your micro bends in your knees and also your toe point. So for those of you that are concerned about your lines, whether you're a performer, a competitor, or just in general want to improve the look of your pole, aerial, or whatever move that is or sport that is that you're working on. So for this one, let's start with the micro bends in the knees. For this one, I have hyperextended legs. So for me, when I engage my quad, this muscle here on the top, my heels lift off the ground. Um, not everyone has this. I have some hypermobility in a lot of my joints, so my legs go different, different directions than a lot of people. So for the average person or for a significant number of the population, this does not happen. And so if you don't have hyperextended legs, oftentimes it's really hard to get that nice line and make it look like your legs are completely straight. Um, for some people, that's because they're not accustomed to engaging that quad. For some people, it's because they're not used to engaging that muscle enough to straighten it all the way, just because it's not something that we do in our everyday life normally. So you have two options. Those of you that do have hyperextended legs, you want to work on this engagement here. But for those of you that that's not the case or you're not sure where to find that engagement, a great tool to work on this is to grab a ball. Um, it can be anything that you can put underneath your knee, but um, a ball nice and round will probably feel more comfortable. It can be a tennis ball, a golf ball. It's just gonna depend on the size of your leg, your extension of your leg, everything. And you're gonna put it right underneath your knee, okay? And what I want you to think about doing is engaging your quad to squish that ball, okay? So don't so much think about straightening your leg as pushing your knee down into the ball. Okay, so you can do these as reps. Really focus on engage, hold, 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 relax. Engage, hold, 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 relax. So initially, if these are newer to you, I'd recommend maybe starting with five or 10 each side, alternating, do one or two sets. Um, always go with quality over quantity. So don't practice these while you're watching TV and kind of half doing them um, because then you're actually training your body to not have the best habits. So better yet, spend maybe two to three minutes and be really focused on it and really find that full engagement, okay? So another part of finding these um, nice lines, whether it's for an invert, if you're an aerialist or whatever, like I said, your sport of choices, um, is just developing that body awareness. So what you do in practice is what your body's gonna do when you're performing or when you're under stress. So when we're under stress, for example, if you're an aerialist, um, when we get into those scary moments where you're hanging on by one toe, your body's gonna revert to um, whatever is reflex. And if your reflex is sloppy technique, that's where it's gonna go. So basically you wanna train your body so that you no longer have to think about straightening and engaging your legs so you have a nice straight knee and pointing your toes, okay? so. Um, one is working on these exercises of this little hyperextension activity, okay? Another one is just working on a leg raise. Um, ideally, work on a nice pointed toe with this one, but once you take both hands, point them towards your fingers, depending on your flexibility. In a perfect world, you're actually gonna lean towards that leg, but initially, A, if you don't have the body awareness, muscle engagement, and or flexibility, you might have to lean back, but think of your goal is to be able to lean forward into it, or at least stay neutral, and you're gonna do little raises. Okay. When I'm doing the raises, I want to think about externally rotating my feet. If you lift straight up, you're going to find your um, quads, your hip flexors cramping quite a bit. If you externally rotate and get your adductors and your thighs a little bit more involved, you'll find you get a little bit less cramping and it gives you a nicer line. Okay. So think of externally rotate. Think of lifting from your heel and little lifts. Okay. Same thing with these as with the other quad engagement exercise. Do maybe five or 10 on one side turn to the other side five or ten okay so the whole time I'm really focusing on engaging my quad keeping this knee completely straight ideally working on that toe point as well so I would start with these exercises then go to these leg lifts okay next step from these once you start to get a feel for those is to go both at once so once again with these your goal is to be able to lean forward into it ever so slightly but depending on your flexibility mobility muscle awareness and strength and your active flexibility you might have to lean back a little bit initially but think about trying to sit up nice and tall and you're going to do both legs same time okay once again you're really focusing on those nice straight quads okay so a nice kind of little training regime for this to work on these lines would be five or ten 
of the little engagements, each side, five or 10 of the lifts, five or 10 of the lifts. That would be one circuit and then repeat again. Okay, so that's our focus on some of the lines, whether it's for your invert, for your straddle, just overall lines. Now let's look at some toe point stuff. So for this one, what a lot of people tend to do is when they go to point their toes is they point just their toes and the top of their foot is still flexed, okay? This top part or instep, that's actually where you want your point to come from, okay? So I want to think about pointing from here, pulling my toes back and finding this mobility. It's the same thing I think of in back bending of learning how to articulate every single vertebra. So I want to think about finding that mobility in my foot as well. So you're going to go from a flex foot, point the instep, but keep your toes curled back and then point your toes and then reverse toes, foot, ball the foot, toes, toes, ball the foot. Okay, so you can work on these just on their own without any kind of resistance. If you want to add a little extra, you can use a resistance band. This is not my favorite band. I just don't happen to have an ideal one with me at the moment. Ideally would be um, one of the ones that is used for like physical therapy, the really thick ones and super lightweight because you can put it completely around the bottom of your foot. Um, this one's kind of narrow. So as I work on it, sometimes it slides on my foot. So not ideal, but you get the idea of what to use. So if you want to use it with a band, you're going to give yourself a little resistance to start straight training those muscles is you're going to start with the foot flexed point ball the foot point the toes ball the foot flex ball point okay and like i said this is not that most ideal band to work with uh, a wider band and probably a little bit less resistance would be ideal so a full little training regime that we have here now work on your engagement Work on your lift single, work on your double, and work on your toe points, okay? Just spend five minutes. It really doesn't take very much. Um, every time you come into train, think of doing this part of your warm-up. We could spend two minutes, five minutes, five, ten each side. Try them out. Let's see if these help you with your training. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you have any requests for future tutorials, please leave those in the comments below too. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already, so you can continue to see new tutorials on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for watching.